Um, so another um, kind of a little bit old news on Friday, the infrastructure bill passed. Um, you know, is there any kind of ETFs that look interesting because of the infrastructure bill? Yeah, so infrastructure bill, I think it's going to actually be signed on Monday. So it's still still going. <laughs> but uh, yeah, actually, there are two uh, exchange traded funds that I find kind of interesting uh, in the infrastructure area. Um, one of the things to keep in man keep in mind, for example, iShares, uh, which is uh, owned by BlackRock, which is you know they're one of the largest money managers in the world, um, has identified mega trends, right? That they saw uh, robotics and artificial engineering, uh, clean energy, uh, artificial intelligence, sorry, clean energy, and etc. Uh, one of the trends that they uh, that they established was infrastructure, because they just looked at infrastructure as a whole, you know, here in the U.S. and even around the world, and how much of it needs improvement how much growth is going to happen in that area. And so they've identified infrastructure as a mega trend before the pandemic and before this bill came out. Uh, and uh, obviously, interesting enough, this even had bipartisan support, which is fairly unusual uh, in our current situation. Uh, and so what they've identified here in this mega trend is exactly what's happening with this bill. There is a need, there's a lot of interest. Uh, you know, broadband's a huge issue, right? I mean, if you've got kids that are trying to get things done uh, that can't get into broadband because their area doesn't have as much. So, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, iShares has an infrastructure ETF, the ticker symbol is IFRA. Uh, so that would be definitely something I would look at. We've had that in our portfolio in the past. Um, and I think even if it doesn't have a huge pop right now from the you know bill that's coming out, because the bill's going to be spread out over you know eight years, um, I still think it's worthwhile to look at it just because it's an overall mega trend uh, that I think is going to continue to play out uh, as far as that goes. Another way to play this is just through kind of transportation <coughs> and. So uh, you're going to see a tremendous amount of this infrastructure bill pushed into transportation of all types, uh, airlines, uh, airports, um, you know, railroad, rail, railroad transportation, et cetera. So uh, what we're looking for there, uh, there's a, a, another uh, ETF called XTN, uh, which is a transportation index uh, that I would look at also for kind of the infrastructure play as far as that goes. That's been doing quite well just recently, probably because of the news about the infrastructure bill. But uh, there's some individual stocks that you can play, you know, uh, and along those lines, but um, it might be better to kind of own a whole basket. Uh, so those are things that I would look at in that area. Uh, but it goes beyond, keep in mind that this goes beyond just this bill. This is something that's happening worldwide, this, this push to, 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 to kind of increase the infrastructure. You know, the U.S. hasn't done anything for a long time, uh, especially in the area, say, bridges. Uh, they identified 10 bridges that they think if they went down would actually have a pretty sizable impact on gross domestic product here in the U.S. And so they want to go through with this bill and redo those or at least retrofit those bridges. Uh, and so that's a huge deal. It hasn't been done in uh, forever. Uh, so there's there's some pieces that I think are, are you know, long-term investment option opportunities in infrastructures is still there. It's a, I think it's a viable area.